Okay, I'm looking tired this morning. No makeup on, but anyways, uh, I got my 23andMe results back finally. I got them back in January. I got my test. I got it for Christmas, so, um, and I wanted to show everybody the results because I only really got it for the haplogroup group because I didn't know what my haplogroup group was, but it explains everything. My haplogroup group, I'll tell you that in a minute. But, um, my 23 and me, uh, pretty much, they have, I think, more of a certain type of ethnicity than certain ones, so it's going to show more percentages, but I know where they belong in my tree. So, we're going to start out. Oh, and by the way, there's a disclaimer on here on the frequently asked questions on 23andMe before somebody gets straight slick smart and says, you don't have native ancestry. I'm going to put a link down below of my native results. I paid for a higher price test that specializes in native ancestry. And I know where my native ancestry is. I use GenMatch. So, yeah. Um... It says, uh, a lot of times they, they, they tell you on here, and all 23 of me and Ancestry above tell you, we stop at fifth generation. We stop at your fifth great-grandparents. We don't go further than that. My native is sixth and greater. Remember I told y'all that. Okay. So, I got that out the way. And also, on my results, I think one part might be Ancestry, Native ancestry, but they don't have that native ancestry yet in their little profile. So, whenever I show you my results, you'll see what I'm saying. So, we're going to start right here. Me. I am 100% me. <laughs> I hope. I am 95.4% European. I know this because I'm related to every dang royalty known to man. House Plantagenet, Royal Romanoffs, Royal Stuarts. Uh, Charlemagne, the Holy Roman Empire, honey, I've got them all in there. Uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, kings and queens, French, English, you name it. Spain, Italy, they're all related to me. I've got Northwestern European, 89.2%. There it is. I have... French and German, which they have apparently a higher percentage of French and German DNA because on Ancestry, I'm only 4, per, I think 7 or 8% Germanic Europe and like 1% French. But I'm 41% according to them with North Rhine, Westphalia, Germany. And let me see what else they got. So I'm apparently right there. And then, let me go back. I have plus one region. It doesn't really say. I guess uh, Lower Saxony is the other, I'm assuming. But I have Hesse in my DNA, so uh, that's my Prussian lines. <laughs> Let's go back to here. I am, of course, 38%, which they lowered my British and Irish. They, I guess they don't have Scottish because they're saying I'm Greater London and County Dublin, Ireland. So, apparently, plus 18 regions. So, um, I don't know what their 18 regions are, but apparently I'm, uh, plus that. But I know I'm Scotch-Irish, so, I mean, there's no question I'm Clan Finley. That's my Irish lines. Clan Forster's my Scottish lines. Uh, Royal Sturt. Um, I guess they don't have a Scottish ancestry much on 23andMe from what I'm seeing on this. Because all they said is British and Irish heritage. It says learn more, and then it talks about... Maybe they lump the Wales and Scotland, yeah, with it. That's probably what it is. That's what they're doing. Ireland, and then there's UK with Wales and all that, which I've got all that in there. But I guess they're lumping the Scottish people, which I guess they don't have that big of a Scottish database. But they talk about all this, the Vikings and all that. So, I mean, I know we're all related somehow, but I figured they'd go a little bit more into that. <laughs> but I guess they didn't. So... 
I mean, like I said, each test has more. Ancestry is a bigger company. Just put it that way. So they've got more of a population mix, I guess. I've got 0.4% 4, 4 Finnish. Which I'm Norwegian, Finland, and Iceland, and Swedish. So, And I've got mixed connective tissue disease, which is part of that. Uh, broadly Northwestern European, 9.1%. Which is all those countries I just mentioned. Sweden, Norway, Finland, Iceland, United Kingdom, Germany, Aust Austria, and France. It's the Norman Viking lines right there. Southern European, 5.6%. Which I already know I'm Italian. I already know i got Spain, Switzerland. I know I've got all these in there. So Slovenia and all that. and Greece and I've got all those. But they primarily, which is funny because I am... Portuguese, because I am a Melungeon. Spanish and Portuguese, 5.6%. Explains all my wonderful little Apache ancestors. But anyways, uh, and of course my Melungeon lines. Oh, I keep clicking on that. Hang on. And then, I am broadly European, 0.4%, which means... I'm all those folks. So they must not have too much Russia in their sample from what I'm seeing. Because I've got a lot of Russian in me. <laughs> and Siberian at that. But, you know, they're just saying I'm broadly all over the place. Which I already know this. I am 3.8% Sub-Saharan African. 3.7% West Africa. Which is right here. Mali, Senegal, Nigeria. Which I had a Nigerian chick say I kind of had the nose. So I was like, that's cool. I'm Senegambian and Gwinian. 30.7%. And then I'm Congolese and Southern East Africa. 1%. Which is Congo, Uganda, Kenya, Tarzana, Angolia. And... Oopsie, where'd I go? Now we're going to get into trace ancestry, which is what we detected traces of the following populations of your DNA. Read more about it in the favorite asked questions. Trace is what they just lump, uh, small amounts of ancestry can mean different things for different people. And you may have to do some digging to decide what your tra trace ancestry 1% or less means for you, which mine was Native American and I'm sure some Egyptian, and this is like all my ancient DNA that I've got, which I already know about. So, let's go back to here. Uh, the other day it showed I had, I don't know where it went, but it said I had Egyptian, and then it like erased it, which is weird. Um, oh, hang on, here it is. I am, in my trace ancestry, North African, 0.4%. Oh, here it is. They lumped it up. That's what they did. Libya, Tunisia, Algeria, Morocco, which I could see that being close to Spain and Portugal. And then, there it is. They lumped up my uh, Egyptian right here. Broadly Western, Asian, and North African, which there's Egypt. And there's Saudi Arabia, Iran, Turkey, which of course being a Melungeon, we are tied to Turkey a lot. Uh, but I've got Egyptian in there. Um, broadly Western... Asian and North African, 1%, which is Turkey, like I told you, <laughs> which a lot of us folks in the Melungeon fall in this group right here, Armenia, I've got um, Roma Gypsy, which is actually India, DNA, and Armenian, they call, you know, Armenians are Roma also. They're gypsies as well. Um, some of them are, not all of them. Unassigned is my 0.1%. That would be my native. But they don't they don't know where it's coming from. I'm just to them, I'm a new person in their algorithm, so they're still figuring it out. <laughs> so I'm like, that's fine. 
Do you, boo? I mean, my ancestors, I'm surprised it's in there. It's it's a very small percentage because, like I said, my native ancestry starts at my sixth great-grandfather, goes all the way to my 12th great-grandmother, who was Pocahontas, and a lot of that's washed out. So, um, but the reason why I did this test was for my haplogroup, group, which my haplogroup go group goes with me. Because, um, it basically goes with my ancestry, pretty much. It's like, um, what I've been saying all along, I'm related to all the rules and this and this and this. And, you know, I've got all the royalty in my DNA. So, hang on, let me show y'all. Go to Ancestry. There it is. I am maternal haplogroup H. And it goes right along with all my rural history. That's why when I go to any of those Facebook rural groups, I'm DNA hide match DNA to everybody. So Tina, as our ancestors ventured out of East Africa, they branched off diverse groups that crossed and recrossed the globe over tens of thousands of years. So my, that's my maternal haplogroup. Haplogroup H and the royal line of Europe. Because it is so dominant in the general European population, haplogroup H also appears quite frequently in the continent's royal houses. Marie Antoinette and Austrian Habsburg, who married the French royal family, inherited the haplogroup from her maternal ancestors. So did Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Guess who he is? Royal Romanov, darling. And I'm all the royal Romanovs pretty much have the H as well. Whose recorded genealogy traces his female line to Bavaria. Scientists also discovered that famed 16th century astronomer Nicholas Copernicus traced his maternal lineage to haplogroup H. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I already know the royal Romanovs. Most of all of them have an H. I looked it up. I looked who, what royal lines have H. And then it shows a list. So, so I'm related to a whole lot of people. <laughs> like a whole lot of people. And then so. So I thought that was cool. I was like, you ain't telling me something I didn't already know. Because <laughs> I was... Like I said, when I first started that DNA and got in groups on Facebook and doing genealogy big time, I know the one thing I noticed the most was anytime I got in a rural group, boom, I was high matching everybody. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm the queen. All right, I got this, boo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I ain't trying to say that to be like thinking I'm all that. So I'm just saying I know I'm royalty. I descend from a lot of rules, just put it that way. And lately, I've been descended from a lot of rules that's gotten the shaft. But, you know, yeah. I'm not going to talk about Rom my Roman offlines today because I'm going to get mad about it. And, yes, I'm Team Russia. Um, but, anyways, that is my 23andMe. That's my haplogroup. Like I said, ancestry doesn't include haplogroup. That's why I particularly did this test, even though they're still finding out more people along the way, the more people that test. Like, like I tell everybody, get a dang DNA test and do it so they have your DNA on there so they can compare it with others. That's how this thing works. And we, we can't get, that's why they have not enough native ancestry because a lot of natives get all weird about it. I'm like, don't you want to find your ancestors and your family? You know, I descend from the people way back, you know, the ones that before the Trail of Tears. So, and a lot of them, they get mad and get upset, but I'm just like, if you was really native, you'd put one out there <laughs> to prove it. I'm just saying. But, um, you know, but anyways, we're working on that right now. So, getting things done in that department. But, you know, it takes time. But anyways, that's my 23 in me, y'all. So, I'm a mixed bag of everybody, and I love it. I love it. I wish they had more Russian and showed my Siberian and my Chukchi, but, of course, my... I'm going to show you the link below of my Native American results. And I actually go off of my DNA consultants test before I go off of my 23 and Ancestry. Those are just, they stop at your fifth great-grandparents. So, to me, 23 and me shows just 
my fifth generation, and so does Ancestry. I did a super kit so I could see all my ancient DNA and stuff, which is cool. Which, you know, Ancestry is a good site. 23andMe is a good site. But tw you could put your raw DNA for free on GEDmatch and you can see all your stuff on there. So that's what I like about it. You can play with Oracle and do this and that with your heritage thing. And see all your ancient, see all your, like, native, and see everything that you got in your DNA. But um, I like DNA Consultants because it details it all. Tells everything I got in there. Highlights at the top, then shows all the breakdowns of the different things. And then it shows a map with dots of where you've been. And honey, I've been all over the world. And I already know this. And I thought it was cool because the one thing it didn't show me on the two tests was that I had Chukchi. And I didn't know what Chukchi was. I had to look it up. DNA Consultants taught me something. But 23andMe and Ancestry on my gen match was showing me that I was related to the Yakuts and all them anyway. But I didn't know what that was. I looked into it, but I just never focused until I saw that Chuck Chi and then I looked it up. I was like, that's cool. That's the aboriginals that are related to the native, you know, walked across the Beringian where the Lutes, the Coots, the Eskimos, you know, things of that nature. I was like, that's neat. And I had that one little dot in Siberia. I was like, yes. But of course, Royal Romanoff at the same time, darling. Of course, I'm gonna have a bunch of uh, Russian in there. But, uh, and I like that they have a lot of Russian. They had like four or five Slavic in my DNA on DNA consultants, whereas I haven't seen much Russian on 23andMe and Ancestry, so they need to work on that. 